everyone, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel and to another edition of the Disney Library. This month we're talking about The Disneyland Story by Sam Galloway. recommended to me by Rob Place. Now Rob Place is one of my favorite Disney history channels. He talks a lot about the history of the parks, of the company, of the animation division, about everything. Um, so if you're interested in more Disney history I would highly recommend you checking him out. I'll leave a link down below or somewhere up here. The Disneyland story is a biography of Disneyland, of the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. And it was really interesting because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I'm usually not very good with nonfiction. I usually find it quite dry and hard to get through. This, however, was nothing like any of the other kind of nonfiction biographies I'd read. It literally starts at the very conception of Disneyland Park. So even before the park was constructed, it started at the very beginning when Walt envisioned having a park where families and children and adults could enjoy their time spent together there. And it actually goes really in depth and it tells you year by year how the park progressed, which new attraction opened. And what I found extremely, extremely interesting was every single attraction that's in Disneyland Park up to, I think it's 2013, it actually explains the original concept or idea and how it evolved until it was actually built. For instance, Paris of the Caribbean uh, apparently was just gonna be a walkthrough with like just a couple of rooms, but it was only in years and years later when the attraction was actually built um, that they made it into a water ride. So it's just small things like that about every single attraction that I found super interesting. Sam Ganaway's writing style is really smooth, really quite engrossing. You can tell he's a massive Disney fan. You can tell he loves this park. And I think it's, it's wonderful because there's not that many in-depth biographies of a theme park. Do you know what I mean? And Walt Disney really kind of created this new idea of a theme park um, that would, you know, appeal to all. One of the interesting things for me as well is that at the end of each year section they mention what the attendance of the park was just so to see it kind of grow and in some periods stagnate was really fascinating especially because usually in then the next year section you see what they did about any stagnations or to kind of help the growth even more. I feel like a lot of us just think of Disneyland or Disneyland Paris or wherever is our home park as just like this nostalgic thing but there are people behind the scenes going oh my god we need more attendance, these are the kind of rides, yeah let's do this ride, that ride, that ride. And I just found that really interesting. There's a lot of information about the different Imagineers who worked on the attractions and then after Walt's death there's also a lot about how you know the Walt Disney Company wanted to keep the momentum going with Disneyland because you know Walt literally had a hand in about everything in this park so it was really important that you know, they didn't lose momentum, they didn't lose steam, they didn't stop innovating. I think it goes up to 2013, so it gives a pretty kind of good overview of um, everything from the beginning until just about now, you know, five years ago. I think the only thing I wish they'd had a bit more of was images, like there's some in the front. Also, this cover looks like it's a guidebook. Um, it's not. It's, it's definitely not. There's some images from the very beginning of the park at the front but it's only like a couple of pages. So if you're looking for like a highly illustrated or with like a book with lots of photographs, this is not gonna be the book for you. But to be honest, even though it didn't have a lot of images, this never really lost my attention. I think I read it in only a couple of days and it's like nearly 400 pages of like nonfiction. So that went by really, really, really fast for me. If you really want to find out more about the history of Disneyland and just kind of go quite in depth, like reading a biography of the park, then this is definitely an amazing book to start. I'm pretty new to Disney history. I haven't, you know, I've watched YouTube videos and th things like that, but this was my first Disney history book and I would highly recommend it if you want to start out finding more about the parks we all know and love. So there you have it. That's it for today. Do let me know down below in the comments if you've read the Disneyland story or if you've read any other Disney history books, leave them down below because I always Always want to find out more things. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to all of you very soon. Bye!